You can see I'm not just any old cat. Since you seem to have half a brain, might I ask a favor? It won't be too much of a bother, I promise. Call me cynical, but I don't believe cats can talk. I'll help you out, but only if you tell me who you really are. I knew you were clever. Yes, I'm no cat. At least not on the inside. This is where you tell me about some bizarre episode that put your soul into a cat's body. Exactly. You're good. Of all the possibilities, why a cat? Oh, let me start from the beginning. This body that I'm in, the most beautiful cat in the world, she was my precious little baby. Obviously, I named her Jem because she was my treasure. She was everything to me, but she got sick and passed away. I had a difficult time dealing with her death. I couldn't accept it. I shied away from reality. I did everything I could to preserve Jim's body while I desperately searched for a way to bring her back. Science, voodoo, alchemy, you name it. I tried everything you could ever imagine. I spent years, no, decades, performing experiments to bring her back. I'm not one to judge, but the love you have for your cat is more than a little frightening. She was my life, but nothing worked. I couldn't revive her. I'd run out of ideas. I was devastated. I had just about given up on life, everything, when God decided to throw me a bone. A little girl approached me. She called herself Lumina. Lumina? This ought to be good. What happened? I thought this little angel had been sent from the heavens when she handed me a potion, and said it had the power to lend Jem my soul. According to her explanation, if I drank the potion, I could revive her. Of course, I drank the entire bottle without hesitation. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to drink strange potions? Especially ones given to you free of charge by people you just met on the street. But this stranger told the truth. Jim was revived. See? Alive as ever. However, I wasn't prepared for these side effects. This wasn't what I had in mind. And that's where I come in, isn't it? Yes! Lumina mentioned there was an antidote that can reverse the effects of the potion. With it, things can go back to the way they were. It's called Starlet Spice. Please, will you find some of it and wave it under my nose? I assume you're talking about your human body, so it's still intact somewhere? Do you recall where? When dawn approaches, you'll find it wandering aimlessly near a large assembly of cats. You can tell from a single glance that it lacks any sort of soul. My name, my real name, is Ronan. I don't know if my body will respond to that, though. Please, procure a vial of Starlit Spice and let my wandering body get a sniff of it.
listen. We sighted few monsters on this. Once again, we must... Oh, me. Now what am I gonna do? You seem a bit troubled. Yes, it's true, I am, but I don't know that it's something I'd feel comfortable discussing with a stranger. Fine, I wouldn't want to force you to talk. My, oh... You are a rather frank one, aren't you, miss? It's not that I've been sworn to silence or anything. Quite the opposite. I feel like I've got to tell someone. Let me start from the beginning. I am Aramaya, one of the blessed members of the Order tasked with looking after Lady Vanille. Did you say Vanille? Yes. Our Lady Vanille, the one and only holy saint who has been gifted with the mysterious ability to hear the cries of the dead that are carried on the winds of chaos. Vanille, the saint? Yes. Well, the fact is that the Holy One is particularly attached to one particular belonging, a small stone that she always carries. I'm guessing it's no regular piece of rock. You're quite right. It seems like something very special. It reflects the light with a rainbow iridescence. But several days ago, that very stone was stolen by some reprehensible thief. Ever since its disappearance, the poor saint has hardly said a word. She's completely withdrawn. She can't find the thief? Find the thief? The holy saint? She cannot leave the cathedral. It is completely out of the question. I see. So you keep your precious saint locked up like some sort of criminal or animal. Uh, uh, you say too much. Well, the, the only reason the saint is kept within the cathedral is for her own safety and protection. She can't be trusted with herself? <sighs> yes, that's it, exactly. If what you say is true and she never leaves the cathedral, then only other Order members could have gotten to her. You, you're suggesting that a member of the Order stole the saint's precious belonging? You could not be more wrong. It's impossible. Then you admit others into the cathedral to see your saint, do you? is an outfit which is allowed to enter to make their deliveries, but their staff always go through a thorough inspection. They couldn't even sneak out a pebble if they tried. There's an exception to every rule. Where do I find them? I, I wish I could tell you, but I don't know. I think they work out of the warehouse district. I can give it a shot. Oh, you are far too kind. Just knowing that there are such generous soul searching will surely put the saint at ease. The only ones who can get close to the saint's chambers are the delivery men from the warehouse area.
What can I tell? Well, come talk to me. Everything you could possibly need for a journey. If I know it, I'll tell you. I'll come talk. Which one? Which one? Thanks for stopping. What can I help you with? And thank you. If I know it, I'll come talk to me any. Thanks for stopping. And thank you. So, what? I'll come talk to me. This is where you can purchase your tickets. Damn it. I missed a delivery. Here for the train? A witch? Plants and trees so grow and die as they once did with humans?
Don't forget to buy a ticket. This is where you can purchase your tickets. Excuse me. This is where you can purchase your tickets. Taking the train? This is where you can purchase your tickets. This is where you can... But over those centuries, there hasn't been a single new birth. Don't forget to buy a ticket.
plants and trees so grow and die as they once did the humans? Don't forget to... Yuspon's a nice place too. It's glamorous and exciting. What can I tell you about today? I'll come talk to me anytime. The best hotel in the city.
Welcome in. Come back again. The only place you can get to from this north station is Yusnan. I'm surprised you've heard of me. What do you want?
If you wish to go to the Wildlands or the Dead Dunes, you should go down to South Station.